I now call the New Carlisle City Council meeting to order, March 4th, 2019, 7 p.m. Mrs. Burner. Mayor Reynolds is absent. A Acting Mayor Lindsay. <clears throat> Here. Mr. Shammy. Here. Mr. Lowry. Here. <clears throat> Mr. Cobb. Here. Mr. Cook. Here. Five members present. Invitation by Councilman Bill Cook this evening. Stand, please. You will please bow our heads. Our Heavenly Father, please bless this group tonight as we attempt to do the business with the city of New Carlisle, providing for the citizens and give us the grace and your blessings on doing the best that we can do. Please bless, bless our firefighters, our sheriff's deputies, the administration and all of us gathered here. Amen. Amen. See the uh, Pledge of Allegiance flag up front. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Minutes for 219 19. So move. Second. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Acting Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Minutes accepted. 5 yes. 0. Communications none. Mr. Bridge? Thank you. Uh, Acting Mayor Lindsay and rest of the council, sorry, and, and uh, members of the public, I'd like to share with you the city manager's report. Give you one second to get there. Uh, under in informational items, new building update. Uh, the ordinance will be effective on 3 6 of 19. We have a closing date of 3 29 of 19. We have occupancy, occupancy 10 days after closing. Uh, I got a very busy, busy week this week regarding that building. Um, we have mover quotes coming in tomorrow and also on the 7th. Um, I'm getting two quotes from two people. Uh, also, inspections are starting tomorrow. Um, I have a quote in for a second one that I forwarded off to some members of council today. And then I will be reviewing that and get that one scheduled as well. And I have architects meeting on 3-6 and 3-7. And these are just initial meetings with architects to kind of introduce ourselves to see, um, give them a little bit about the scope of the project and uh, get their information on it. Um, to, uh, 2019 operating budget timeline approved by regular ordinance that will be at the 311 meeting. It's a week from today and will serve as our town hall meeting. Uh, our 20, uh, 2018 IT budget, um, the state of Ohio, um, I mean audit, not budget. State of Ohio every year audits our financial records, uh, but also our IT procedures as well um, to make sure that we are nice and secure from uh, any outside threat. So that started uh, today and uh, I will update council as needed on that. That usually takes about a week or two. It's definitely not as lengthy and drawn out as our uh, financial audit. And upcoming, we have ordinance for fire, fire and EMS pay and also the Elizabeth Township fire and EMS contract. That is all I have for the city manager report. I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Council, any questions? Comments from members of the public. Please limit comments to five minutes or less. <laughs> Although it doesn't feel like it right now. <laughs> Spring update. Linda Eggleston, Nowakowski, 317 South Main Street. Uh, I wanted to give you an update on the gardens. Uh, as you know, we uh, secured the use of the old Westlake School site that now gives us almost 10 acres of garden space for the community gardens. Um, we had a meeting this week with all of the other 25 community gardens in Clark County. Uh, you might like to know that we're the largest by almost 200% oh, wow. over any other garden in the county. Um, we are currently working with the Clark County Health Coalition uh, to establish a curriculum for a program that we're working with the community library on. 
Uh, it started last week when we uh, assembled a worm farm at the uh, library, surprisingly to the delight of some four-year-olds. <laughs> um, it will continue through mid-October with um, harvest of the gardens that we, the community garden will be installing at the library uh, on a piece of land owned by Jim Gastineau, who has lent it to the library for this project. Um, we will be teaching classes starting on the 21st of March, once a week. Uh, we set up teams in order to get a child and an adult to come in so that we would be getting both, both groups and teaching them. And that curriculum will include everything from uh, growing food to nutrition and cooking and preserving the food and um, composting all of the waste. Um, we will start on s this coming Saturday building uh, raised beds. Uh, we found a man in Medway who constructs um, four, four foot by four foot by 14 inch raised cedar beds for just about the cost of the cedar. Uh, and he'll start construction on that on Saturday, if the weather holds. Um, I'm working with uh, the library in terms of building a garden and food library section. Uh, they're bringing in books. They've purchased books, and they're bringing other books in from other libraries so that Anything that you want to know about gardening, you will be able to easily find in that collection. Um, on May 3rd and May 11th, May 3rd, we will be having a garden cleanup at Madison Street. And on the 11th at Westlake, um, we will be working with Col uh, Clark County Solid Waste Department uh, they're supplying their community cleanup trailers on both Saturdays. And that is a part of the Great American Cleanup Program. And there will be gifts from the county for anybody who comes and participates. So that will run from approximately 9 till whenever we get done uh, at both sites. If you have any questions for me regarding the garden, I'd, oh, I know what else I was going to tell you. We uh, <coughs> talked with OIT uh, in Springfield and their welding department and the students in that program will be uh, taking the field goal posts that were left by the football team, pulling them from the ground and making them into a gate so that we can close off the garden, that passageway between Baywood and Walsh, and a street name that I never knew in New Carlisle until this past week, which was is Brenda. <laughs> one house on. What's that? One house on. One house, right. One house. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of the street name until the, the utilities people explained it. Yes. Um, the new garden site. Yes. As far as water supply for that, do you guys have that secured? Uh, it, there's a well on the property that we will be putting something so that we're not doing this kind of a number. <laughs> Are you still going to be awesome. using the the containers at the old site at the Madison? We're going to we're going to keep the containers at the old site. I'm looking for a power washer so that we can clean those out this spring. Okay. Um, so. Because I know we've been going over and filling those with the. Right. Engine. 
where we should be fine with water at the Westlake site and continue the way we have with Madison Street. Um, oh, and then they are also going to be leaving the uh, posts that hold the scoreboard box. They're leaving those in the ground and uh, we would like to work with those to be able to set up a corporate sponsorship program, kind of like the baseball teams and whatever, where they give us some money to help us support what we're doing there and uh, we'll get a sign up there acknowledging their contribution. Anybody have any questions? I have one for you, uh, Linda. The, how much fruit do you guys think you'll be able to produce on the, you said almost 10 acres? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this year it's not going to be anything close to 10 acres. We're going to put in approximately 40 beds and a large plot of uh, sweet corn that okay. will, we've got a farmer who's volunteered to bring his tractor in and plow for us. Uh, so the, uh, I know you guys uh, take a lot of this to the farmer's market. Will the food bank be getting any of this? Or any? They always have. Do they? Okay. I'm, I wasn't sure. That's why yeah. Was yeah, we've okay. always taken food over to the pantry first and then it comes to the market. To the okay, thank you. Council, any questions? Mr. Mr. Acting Mayor. Thank you, sir. Linda, uh, how, how much, I know it's probably a little early, but how much uh, interest do you have in it as far as, I mean, do you, you have people that are signing yes, up for Yes, we do. Good and numbers? We've, got, we've got finally people in the community who are contributing to coming to meetings and planning what we're going to do and volunteering to do some work and construction and whatever. So, I mean, good numbers? More than what you're expecting? Quite frankly, I wasn't expecting anybody. <laughs> so then you're, then you're considering doing, how we how we had done previously. Right. But I'm hoping that because of the location of Westlake, we're going to get more participation over there. Right. It's a lot more convenient for young families. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay. Any other comments from the public? Comments, uh, committee reports are done, resolutions done. Mrs. Burner. All right, tonight we have one ordinance. Ordinance 19-03, public hearing and action tonight. In ordinance establishing compensation rates for the city manager of the city of New Carlisle. Council? Entertaining a motion? So move. Tied of no motion. Oh, Mr. Cook. So move. Second. <coughs> uh, explanation of this ordinance. Um, city manager compensation <coughs> rates are set by city council. So anytime that there is a um, increase or quite possibly a decrease in that rate, you would have to get that approved through city council via ordinance, and that's what is in front of them today. Council, any questions? Mrs. Barr. Okay. Mr. Lowry. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even looking. <laughs> I'm just taking notes. <laughs> Mr. Cobb. Yes. I tell you. <laughs> Mr. Cobb. Reluctantly, yes. <laughs> Acting Mayor Lindsay. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. The, uh, <coughs> I've never voted for a pay increase in my life. And I kind of don't see a reason why to now, but I will, yes. <laughs> Mr. Shammy. I do have one question. How come we weren't presented with the decrease in pay? Because <laughs> I would not be sitting here. Okay. <laughs> yes. Put that out there. 
<laughs> the ordinance accepted. Five zero. You know, we, thank you. Mr. Byron. You know, we should have probably tabled that. <laughs> there was some discussion on that, but I didn't think it would pass. I did not mention it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> would you like me to move on to other business? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Other business. <laughs> Congressman Warren Davidson will I'll hold mobile again. office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1.30 p.m. until 2. Crime wash meeting will take place Wednesday, March 13th at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shelter House. And our 2019 town hall, or 2018 town hall meeting will be Monday, March 11th at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shelter House. Thank you, Mrs. Byrne. Mr. Lowry. Thank you, Mr. Acting Mayor. Um, Mr. Bridge, uh, you, you know, and everyone that's here tonight, we would had a meeting with Randy to talk about this, you know, this ordinance tonight about his raise and whatnot. And uh, since we have a decent crowd here tonight, I just wanted to thank you for all your hard work. Uh, you know, council, you know, is kind of the face of, of the city, I guess, if you want to say. Um, but, you know, Randy runs the day-to-day -day op operations of the city. Um, he's the brains behind it all. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to sell council short on any, by any means, but, you know, he's in there working, you know, 50, 60 hour weeks. Uh, he's made a lot of moves. If you look at it as like a chessboard that has saved this city a lot of money. Uh, he's, you know, and, and I, and I, I want to see the turnover rate, and I've said this before, of city managers slow down or stop altogether. Uh, I think we've got a good one and, you know, you need to pay a city manager or anybody who does a good job what they deserve and hopefully that'll keep Randy around for a while because the, I think the city has seen a lot of uh, big steps forward since he's he's been aboard so thank you for all your hard work and I appreciate it thank you uh, I think that goes for all of council uh, the sentiments of Mr. Lowry the, uh, you have found things since you've been the city manager that Quite frankly, I don't think any of the councils up here, this current one or the previous one, or maybe even the one before that, even knew was going on. And you got into the records, you dug around, you found them, and you stopped it, and you saved the city some money. Uh, you also uh, changed over some investments and stuff to benefit the city and the citizens. And uh, I, too, congratulate you and thank you for your efforts. In the, in the city, and especially the work on the projects you're doing now. It's going to get it harder for you. <laughs> Thank you. Who's Randy? Oh. Uh, <laughs> good job. Thank you. Mr. Cook, or Kyle, I'm sorry. You're a new business, right? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Acting Mayor, I would uh, like to put this in the form of a motion that we buy a plaque from Mr. Hensley at Fab Middles for allowing us gracefully to use this property to shoot the fireworks again. Also, he has donated a significant amount of money towards fireworks. And that check is in the hands of the city. Would that be a plaque or would you like to have a proclamation or something? Well, I'd, I'd like to give him a plaque because we didn't give him one last year. Okay. Uh, been a motion made by Mr. Cobb. Cobb, thank you. Uh, is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Motion Man. made and second. Can I ask some clarification? I mean, like, like plaque, like he did the city plaque or, or something different? <clears throat> An like appreciation plaque, I believe. An appreciation plaque. Sure, sure, sure. For. sure. And on, on that plaque, I would like to... Uh, to uh, have last year included on that, so it would cover two years. If that would be all right with uh, that's fine. Uh, Cobb. I'm looking at him. <laughs> we're presenting that to him, or how, what's the procedure? <clears throat> Are we what? putting it somewhere, or we're giving it to him? We're going to give it to him to hang in his office. Oh, okay. And th that would probably be presented here at council. I would assume. Yeah, we can present it here at council. I'll get him here. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Mrs. Burr. All right. Um, Acting Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Motion accepted 5 0.
Anything else, Council? Mr. Acting Mayor Lindsay, I would like to uh, make a motion to excuse the mayor. Okay. Mayor Reynolds. Oh, thank you. Second. Second. Mayor Cobb. Mrs. Burner. Mr. Cook. Yes. Acting Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Motion accepted. Five zero. Council, anything else? Do we need a motion to excuse Mr. Shammy from the last meeting? No. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want an explanation on that? No. <laughs> Mr. Lyra. Mr. Acting Mayor, I move we adjourn. I second. We adjourn. <laughs> oh, no.